Well, I'm David Barin, and uh, I've been lucky enough, uh, I guess, to approach strategy from a range of different perspectives through my career. Uh, most recently with City, where I was responsible for business unit strategy uh, execution at uh, their corporate banking business. Um, and also involved in the creation of, uh, and uh, support for the implementation of their client strategies. Uh, but in addition to that, um, uh, I was originally a consumer products guy, spending seven years with uh, Colgate Palmolive, which gave me insight on brand strategy execution as well. Uh, those are all kind of staff roles, I suppose, of one kind or another. Uh, but I also had uh, the experience of being on the dark side of the force as a management consultant at McKinsey uh, for four years. Uh, and I was also an operational line manager with a Forte group running uh, an airport catering, flight catering business, uh, international flight catering business, and a um, air aircraft cleaning business. So I've been able to come at strategy from multiple perspectives, consulting, uh, staff management, and uh, from the perspective of operations. Well, strategy, first of all, strategy execution as a theme, I think is, is important. So I wouldn't separate the notion of strategy design from execution. I feel that they need to be thought of holistically and integrated and sadly in too many situations that's not the case. Uh, there is a totally artificial uh, distinction between strategy design and then strategy execution and I think in most instances that is a recipe for problems. And then the other thing I think I would say um, uh, is, is just repeat the old adage that culture eats strategy for breakfast. And I think that's an important reminder for most of us strategy professionals because we tend to think externally about strategy, you know, the three C's of the company, the, uh, the competitor uh, uh, in the environment uh, that we're trying to deal with. So we focus externally when we think about strategy. The, the culture dimension obliges us to recognize the additional dimension of creating alignment between the internal organization, captured by the word culture, and the strategy. And unless the two of those are aligned, then uh, you're in for real problems. Well, I, I've actually developed a personal series of uh, five simple questions, I think, to uh, address that question, because from my experience, when the answers to these questions are not robust and coherent, it's a pretty useful leading indicator of whether strategy execution is going to fail. So my five personal questions are, uh, firstly, where do you want to compete? So that's the classic uh, target market, client segmentation set of disciplines focused on the, uh, the market the competitor and how things are changing around that. Have you got a good coherent answer to that? Second is how are you going to compete? And that I think has three dimensions to it. There's a series of choices involved around that. Uh, the first is the business model design uh, that is designed to execute uh, the, the, the strategy. Uh, the second is the whole challenge of sustainable uh, competitive advantage or at least competitive advantage. Uh, and then finally there's the organisational uh, aspects uh, of how are you going to compete. So that's my second uh, uh, question. The third one is all about internal communication because in my experience one of the big problems with strategy execution is that the fundamental message that provides context and purpose to the organisation as a whole doesn't reach the people in the front line. 
it gets drowned out by multiple messages that come from top management, middle management or what it, whatever, and very few uh, people are disciplined in the same way as they would be about brand communications when it comes to the internal communications about their strategic intent. So my third question would be about what is the internal message? Is it a compelling one? Is it an engaging one for the people in the trenches who's, uh, uh, who deserve to receive context and understanding to get more meaning out of what they do day to day to help their firm succeed? The fourth um, uh, 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 question is to do with performance measurement. And what often happens is that when strategies get changed or adjusted, nothing changes when it comes to the metrics about the way in which the uh, business is being uh, managed. Budgetary control disciplines, budgetary review disciplines, operating review disciplines still keep looking at the same thing and so I think one of the most important things and I regard it as part of strategy design within this integrated concept of strategy execution is thinking about what are the leading and lagging indicators that really matter uh, to capture the essence of the new strategy. And then finally, my fifth question is, what are you not going to do that you have been doing? Uh, I think it was Steve Jobs who said something along the lines of, strategy is at least as much to do with the decisions you make about what you're not going to do than it is about the decisions you make about what you're going to do. And that's because of the importance of resource allocation. If you allow a random walk, as opposed to have a disciplined process when it comes to resource allocation, then all manner of things will occur and you will lose the focus. And focus is critical to effective strategic execution.